Hello, hello. Welcome back to Mindset Monday. Me, my dark circles, and my thumb that I cut are here to talk to you today about another possible mindset block that you may be experiencing that could be holding you back in your money and life in general. If only I knew how to put a filter on my videos, I would be sparing you all this. I haven't even like caught my breath today. I've been running around like a crazy person. It is 4.45 p.m. This video goes live at 7 a.m. tomorrow, and I just realized I didn't even film it. So um, this is what you're getting. This is what you're getting today. Let me show you today's Mindset Monday topic. I'm so glad you're here today. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new to my channel, my name is Kristen and I make videos mostly about personal finance and living a more intentional life. And Mondays have been the days for the past few months that we have talked about some mindset shifts that I would like you to think about. Maybe you're not in need of these mindset shifts and if not, kudos to you because you are probably light years ahead of a lot of us. Most of the topics are ones that I know a lot of people have struggled with or are currently struggling with, including yours truly. So I hope you'll find these videos helpful to you in some way, maybe eye-opening, and I really just want to offer you a different perspective. So let's go ahead and jump into today's topic, which is KISS. That's how I always say it, KISS. And if you're not familiar with the term KISS, it is an acronym that stands for Keep It Simple Stupid. And there's a whole bunch of different variations of this. But the first time I heard this was when I started dating my now husband, boyfriend at the time, and he was in the Marines. Well, he had been finished with the Marines at that time, but he was a, what do they say, a former Marine? I don't think they say ex, former Marine. And it's just something that he picked up in the military where, Obviously, it's a way of them telling you to keep something simple. And the irony here is that I feel like I'm the one who's constantly looking to simplify things and I feel like he's the one always overcomplicating things. Hmm. So, keep it simple, stupid. How does this apply to you? I don't know. I don't know if it does apply to you, but what I will say to you is I encounter people all the time, especially in this money space when I am either doing one-on-one -on -one coaching with a client or whether I'm helping somebody in my money course or just answering emails or Instagram comments or YouTube comments where people are really struggling to grasp a specific financial concept or just to have a better understanding of their personal finances, their family's finances. And what I often find is people are really overcomplicating it. I think this is human nature. I think as humans, we, I don't know why, I don't, I have no idea uh, why we do this, but I think it is human nature to overcomplicate things. And I also think that when we learn something new or learning about a new concept or maybe trying out a new skill or trying to fine tune a new skill, when something feels really simple, I think we assume maybe we're not doing it right or maybe it's too simple and it's not going to be effective. Simple and easy are two very different concepts, right? Simple doesn't necessarily equal easy. When I'm telling you to keep something simple, I'm not telling you that it's necessarily going to be easy to do or easy to accomplish or easy to overcome or easy to adapt to. What I'm saying is it's going to be simple as in it shouldn't be confusing, it shouldn't be complicated, it shouldn't be overwhelming. And when I try to help people with their finances, where we usually start is learning how to create a budget, learning how to create a spending plan for the money that they are going to bring in before the money actually arrives in their bank account. And budgeting is so simple. It is one of the most basic, simple finance concepts. Budgeting is simply income minus expenses. That's it. It is literally the most basic mathematical equation, but so many people get tripped up on it because 
they are maybe trying to determine what percentage they should be spending in each category or they are trying to figure out how many bank accounts they should have they're trying to figure out how much money they need to save each month and what they need to hit their employer match and how much compound interest they need to collect over the next 30 years and so on and so forth what this really all boils down to is that one of my core beliefs that you have probably heard me talk about many many times if you have been around here before is that Overcomplication leads to confusion, okay? So when we're trying to do something, we're just getting way ahead of ourselves instead of really building a good solid foundation with a new concept, whatever it is, not just budgeting, anything. When we overcomplicate things, it will lead to us being confused. When we start getting confused, things start to feel overwhelming. And eventually that confusion will lead to failure. So whether it's failure because you just straight up fail or it's failure because it feels too confusing and too overwhelming so eventually you give up. I'm just stating failure as in not achieving. Every time. I'm just referring to failure as in not achieving whatever you're looking to achieve. Overcomplication leads to confusion and confusion will eventually lead to failure. That is why when I teach or I do videos, I create courses, I really do my best to keep it as simple as possible. And that doesn't mean that you can't get more nuanced over time. You wanna keep any concept as simple as possible. That way you can learn it, you can fine tune the skill, you can get good at it, you can make it a habit, and then over time you can add on another step, right? Or you can go up another level. Then you can adjust and adapt, and then when you're feeling comfortable there, then you can increase another level. If there's something that you're struggling with in your life, whether it has to do with finances, whether it has to do with your kids, whether it has to do with your job, take a step back and really look and see, are you overcomplicating things? Are you making things more overwhelming or more confusing than they really have to be? Sometimes you kind of have to scratch everything you've already done and learned and go back to the basics and completely start fresh to see how you can simplify things and how you can almost relearn the concept. And that's what we do a lot in my course, Make Over Her Money. I will link that for you down below if you wanna check it out. Uh, you can go see all the details on what we talk about on what you'll learn. But I really focus on four core concepts when we are working through the course, one of them being mindset. And of course, since it's a money course, we're focusing specifically on money mindset. But what people learn is that a lot of our financial habits, our spending habits, our saving habits, a lot of them can be kind of traced back to something that we learned or experienced in our childhood and that shape our mindset and shape our habits and our patterns when it comes to money. And that is how we got to wherever we are today. That isn't just in regards to money, that can be regarding family, regarding communication, regarding relationships, grab a journal, cozy up with a blanket, and really take some time and dig into this. It's a, again, it's a very simple concept, but I think it's one that will really serve you well if you are able to kind of dissect the things that you're really struggling with, any blocks that you feel like you're dealing with in your life, and see, can you take a step back? Can you kind of zoom out? and determine where you may be overcomplicating, right? So where can you kind of back up a little bit and move back to basics and almost start fresh again, relearn the concepts and really make sure that you are keeping it as simple as possible so that you don't go down that same path of confusion and overwhelm. That is today's topic. I told you I was gonna keep it short and sweet today. I hope that was helpful to you in some way. Let me know what you think. I love hearing from you. Go ahead and leave me a comment. And if you have a second, if you could give this video a thumbs up, well, not this kind of thumb, give it this good thumbs up. And also, if you wanna see more videos like this, I hope you'll take a second and subscribe to my channel so you can join my little family here on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching today. I really appreciate you, and I hope you have a great day. Bye. I remember the day when we started talking We were kids and I knocked down all of your marbles But you did not seem to mind